In 2008, um, I asked a group of the children that are in my program to come up with a card for National Women's Day. And uh, they needed to depict what they saw, the women in their community, about their parents, their mothers. Um, in many cases, they didn't have mothers. But just to tell us about and depict what they saw as the women in their community. And um, they came up with very lovely things, very strange things. But um, they all had the same theme. They had the same thread. You had a woman with a child on her back, um, vegetables or food on her head. You had, uh, in the background, there was a little shack, a tin shack that they call home. Um, and behind that shack was this um, world-class soccer stadium. And in the front, a huge um, freeway. And this is what they saw. This is where they live. And I looked at this, and it took me back to my own life, my own childhood. But also, one of the kids actually pulled all this together. And we used his card as a Women's Day card for some company, Standard Bank. We did a card for them. And what he did is he had a woman dressed in multicultural dress. Um, a baby on her back, a laptop in her hand, and Africa on her head. This is what he saw. So as I thought back of what this meant, if I was that age and I was asked to do that, to depict what I saw as the women in my life, was it's in the same Soweto, in the same area we are, except that the shack was the matchbox houses, and um, it would have a chimney with smoke coming out at night, depicting that we had fire, we were cooking. Um, and that, in that shack, in that four-roomed house, we had, I had parents, I had siblings, and friends that I could depend on. Um, during the day, also what came very close to me was that the freeway that they had, when I grew up, there was no freeway. It was dirt road one single tarred road going through Soweto. But that road carried my parents, other parents, out of Soweto during the morning to their workplaces and brought them back at night. It took our siblings away to schools, to workplaces, and brought them back in the evening. Today, that highway, that freeway that they have, carries our um, um, role models out of Soweto never brings them back. It carries away children's parents to a graveyard. It never brings them back. So I would have parents coming back in the evening and um, be feel cared for, fed, everything. What happens right now in that little shack is that children are the ones caring for, in many cases, too many cases. They are the ones caring for a terminally ill parent. They are the ones trying to provide a meal. They're the ones caring for their siblings. Um, same thing with the stadium. When I grew up, that stadium was just a little field there out on the same spot where the big stadium is right now. It was fenced off with funny looking chairs, sitting places, but we could go there anytime. We could go and play there. We could watch soccer. We could stand at the fence and see it. Right now, it is a fancy world-class stadium. The children in the area around the stadium cannot go in and see a soccer match. They cannot stand at the fence and see it's all closed. They can watch people's cars as they come to the soccer match. Um, and uh, the only times they can go to a soccer match is when the school takes them there, when some charity takes them there. Um, so what we do is to try and teach those children that um, the circumstances do not dictate their future. They have beauty in them, they have a strength in them, and they can use that. It's just somebody to guide them to find that strength, something to tell them that that road that leads their parents and everybody out of Soweto can be that road that actually brings them together again. You know, they can reclaim that. They can go out and bring back the knowledge again, bring back joy into Soweto, and that's what we're looking for. And we think it's on our way there. Thank you.